the threads come capped. You need to pop them off gently because when you take the cap off, there's a buoy, which is a sponge that holds down your threads. That buoy, if you yank your cap off, you pull the thread up, you lose your buoy, you lose the thread, you lose what you have. So I have her lift up her chin. I pull and stretch her oral commissure. And I go one, two, three, pinch to let her know I'm ready, ready. Close your eyes, take a deep breath. Pinch perpendicular, drop my hand. Do you see how I just pushed with one finger? I'm gonna rotate halfway, halfway. I'm leaving it in, it's now released the thread. I'm going to also go one, two, three here to help roll her lip a little bit. Now I'm going to take away the ones that I already put in. You see how I've rotated them? I make sure that they're in proper position. I, the reason I roll this is to make sure and feel, is there any place that I feel a thread? Also to stop any bleeding, Dr. Chin, please come out, Okay, I need a couple more. So we pulled this one down here. I need to pull it up a little more here. Mm -hmm. See how I'm stretching the skin? You should not be able to feel the thread. If you do, it's too superficial. And the reason I'm working on one side, I want everybody then to be able to compare and see the difference. And that's the only way you really will see even in your office and show the patient in a mirror, right? Does everyone see how it pulled up the volume of this lip compared to that? Does everyone see how it elongated her upper corner here? And I also pulled a little bit down here. Now, instead of going to her lower lip, because she does have a nice volume, I'm gonna go ahead and start filling in here to pull this, because when you roll the skin out like this, take a look at what it does to the lip, right? You can do that with fillers or with threads, and we'll give her a nice little pump this there. This area is very tender because it's such a tougher area to get into. She feels that more than the lips, believe it or not, which most people, the lips are the most tender, right? Always bevel up. That's what I'm looking for here. All right, I'm gonna rotate half, half. I'm just gonna pull all of these out. Now, why do I massage the monos? Because a lot of times patients, and even if you get them done on yourself, they'll say underneath the skin, it feels prickly. And I tell patients, see how I'm doing this? If you start feeling a little prickliness, cause you can for the next two, three days, just go like that. It'll make the sensation go away. 